What's up, y'all? It's your guy, eBay Fight Predictions in the building. And this is your Bobby Green versus Tony Ferguson breakdown for UFC 291 in Salt Lake City. Uh, interesting fight. I like this fight. Um, it's a, it's a legends fight, you know, it's a OG lightweight fight. Uh, it's a fight we've never seen. So, you know, it's good to see it now. Um, both guys, uh, I mean, you know, obviously Tony Ferguson in the echelon of his career has reached the heights of number one contender to title fights to uncrowned champion. He has been, uh, the perennial guy of his division. You know, at one point in his career, it was him and Khabib. You know, those were the talks. Uh, so yeah, obviously Tony Ferguson is a Hall of Famer. Uh, that is a fact. Uh, Bobby Green, I do not think he's a Hall of Famer. I, I mean, he, he underrated guy, good fighter. Um, at some points, overrated. Uh, and you can even say the same thing about Tony Ferguson, but he has great wins over great competitors. And he has a, you know, lightweight, uh, belt that he can hold on to. So, yeah. Uh, but he's seen better days. He's 39 years old, uh, in this lightweight division. And just time has passed him by. Bobby Green is not at that point in his career where time has officially passed him by. I do think some of the er top echelon, uh, lightweights do smoke him. Um, but, uh, I mean, to, to be honest about it, he's had some pretty good performances. But uh, lately, he hasn't looked like himself. He's looked like he's taken a bit of a slower step. But still, I think he has enough in the gas tank uh, for Tony Ferguson. And that's just how I feel. That's just the eBay fight prediction opinion on the whole tire situation obviously tony ferguson it comes a record of 25 and 8 uh age 39 a high to 5 11 and a reach of 76.5 bobby green comes a record of 29 and 14 uh age 36 is fighting out of california uh a high to 5 10 and reach 71 so uh tony's gonna have this big long reach advantage and yeah okay let's talk about it tony ferguson ever since he's fought justin gaethje has been a broken man and that is just a fact um, but pre Justin Gaethje fight, I mean, the guy has wins over Cowboy, uh, wins over uh, Edson Barboza, Kevin Lee, Rafael Dos Anjos. What makes Tony Ferguson a great fighter? Can you answer that question? I need one word. Toughness. This is toughness. In his last fight against Nathaniel Diaz, what did he show? And I, I don't, I don't want to bash on no hater. I, I, I don't want to bash uh, on no fighter. I don't want to say I'm going to bash on no hater because I'm about to hate. That's why I had that in my head. But he, he quit. He quit. I, I'm gonna say it. he quit. Is Tony Ferguson a quitter? No, I will not call him that. He's a fucking fighter, and I want to have some respect. But he, that's what he did. And when you are known to be that guy that is super tough, that doesn't tap. When he had, what did the Tony Ferguson fans bring up? The arm bar against Charles Oliveira, right? And how he broke through that. The fight against Benil Darius, where he almost got his leg snapped off. They bring that up. But against Nathaniel Diaz, it was a short notice kind of fight camp. I'm not going to say he had a lot of time to train, but in, in that fight, that man fought somewhat I hesitant, I would say. He got lit up. I thought Nate was whooping him at range, in boxing range, and he he landed some good leg kicks. I will give him that, but obviously Tony Ferguson doesn't land real legitimate leg kicks. He just lands calf to no shin to shin leg kicks, and that's what he does, and that's how he breaks you down because he doesn't care about his fucking shin. You know what I'm saying? It hurts him both. So so yeah, um, that's what he does. Um, so. Yeah, that was about it. But he went for a takedown. And I will give him one thing. Tony's, you know, showing that, okay, he'll wrestle more um, in his fights. And that's good. Uh, but, again, he got submitted. And Nate Diaz got him. Um, Bobby Green. You guys know I feel about Bobby Green. I'm not the biggest fan. But good boxing, uh, good movement. And he feels like he gets robbed 24-7. That's, that's probably one of my biggest issues with him is that he's always crying about that. And uh, also, he's a good fighter, but and he had a great performance against a guy like Fiziev, which is aged pretty well for him. That happened like two years ago, so uh, it, it does show that he is still uh, somewhat high level. But against Drew Dober, got smoked, uh, and then against Jared Gordon, I thought Jared Gordon had his moments. He was landing the lead hook pretty well, and it wasn't as if he was not landing punches. He was landing punches, so that is something put, to put in perspective. But. In this matchup, 
I'm going to keep it simple. And this is not going to be a long breakdown. Uh, yeah, did Tony Ferguson have a good performance against Michael Chandler at lightweight? Yeah. And that's what I really want to judge Tony off of, not his fight against Nate Diaz, because you can say there's a lot of aspects to that fight that led it to that way. So, yeah, he looked good against uh, Chandler. I will give him that first round. He looked good. But again, how many times can you get hurt? How many times can you get punched in the face? Before it's truly, truly over, you're 39 years old, all right? You're not fighting some chump. If he was fighting some run-of-the-mill bum, right, off the street, yeah, he could probably whoop him. But this is a Bobby Green, a guy that trains, a guy that has fought against high-level competition, and it has shown that he can still compete, even against Drew Dober. Before he got knocked out, he had a, he had a good first round. He won. I can admit, as a Drew Dober fan, he won that first round. So my point is, isn't to bash um mr uh tony ferguson it's just how much can you take before it's truly truly over and i i think he's reached his limit he had his moment against chandler where he dropped him and he did his thing i respect him but chandler went out of there and booted him like he was a fucking football i think bobby green is just too slick he's too fast yeah the reach might be an issue for green um but Besides that, I do not see Tony Ferguson taking this to the ground, and I do not see how he can get a certain scramble to get a dart choke to get a submission. I just don't see it. And I don't see Bobby Green being stupid enough to take it to the ground. I think he's going to beat him in range. He's going to go forward. I think he's going to put the pressure on him. I think he's going to tag him up. And I think I got Bobby Green getting this done by decision or late round TKO. I could see that. But I say Bobby Green by decision. I think Tony's just going to look like a shell of himself. Tony moves awkward. He'll throw a good body punch. Uh, he'll throw some good straight shots. But besides that, he he's not the greatest technical fighter. He, his thing was he was very unorthodox. He's very awkward. And he was the toughest of the tough. His toughness is running out. And I think it's his time. I think he should retire. Do I think he'll get that Robbie Waller moment? Maybe. He, there's a chance fucking bobby green might be stupid enough to let him do it but i do not think that's gonna happen and i'm gonna be honest with you i i think bobby green smokes him i could see that i really could i think bobby green will eventually smoke him maybe you know what third round tk i think bobby green gets it done i do i think tony's done five years ago tony beats him i and i actually would pick tony to beat him but it's not that time and Bobby, Bobby's going to win this fight. So I think Bobby's going to pop shot him. I think he's going to beat him at the range game, even though he has the reach disadvantage, um, the movement game. I think he beats him everywhere. So, so yeah, that's my pick. I got Bobby Green actually by third round TKO. So, um, yeah, and it, it pains me because you guys know I am not a Bobby Green fan. <laughs> I pray on that man's downfall. But uh, you guys gave me the Tony Ferguson fight. So I, I have no choice but to go with common sense here. So yeah, I got Bobby Green by third round TKO. But hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. Go follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Also my TikTok. Uh, I can't give you guys a link because I can't find it yet. But um, but yeah, I, I'll give you guys an image and to see where to look and follow and give you my ad. So, so yeah, go follow that. Love you and goodbye. Uh, like, comment, share the video. Let's get this eBay fight for Dish Nation growing. And I'm out of here, y'all. Bobby, you, you have a huge fight coming up in a couple weeks here in Utah versus Tony Ferguson, another UFC legend. Legend versus legend. How do you see this fight going down? How do I see the fight going? Yeah. Are oh, you going to surprise me, first of all, and just <laughs> run up on me and just ask me questions like that? My bad, my bad. You know what I'm saying? I don't know you're going to run up on me like that. I know you're not the type of guy. You don't do many you know, interviews. You're on the fly and shit. Like, right, right. So you just want to hear what I said. What if I said something crazy like, I'm going to get knocked out? You know what I'm saying? We'll, nah. We'll, we'll edit Wait. it out. Let's check this out. How do I see the fight going? I'm not God. I go in and do my job, make sure I'm prepared, go to war, and keep this shit exciting. Keep sure that I get these fans off their seats. That's the most important. Everything else right. is for the bullshit. I mean, it's for the birds, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it. the most important thing is impressing the crowd, making them feel, uh, giving those people an, an impact, you know, something that right. they can look at and take from this point on. Go, like, man, I really love your show. That's why you're, day, a you're, a fan, you're a fan favorite. You're a fan favorite. All day they've been telling me that, bro, you're different from everybody. So we yeah. love the way you brought your bringing. And that's my intention at the end of the day is to keep bringing that same 
or with every one of my fights. You know, like, people want to watch you. Like, no matter who you're fighting, I'm watching your fight. Yeah, win or That's lose, you're, you're, you're going to be excited. Exactly. You have a prediction for the fight, though? Uh, like, a prediction? You, if you, I want to say you prediction. You're in KO? Or, or? Like I said I'm not God, but I'd yeah. probably put him out in probably two or three. Put him out in two or three. Yes, sir. That's what's up. Hey, thanks, Bobby.